Hello everyone and welcome back to a new tutorial with me, Emil Wiemark. In today's tutorial, what we're going to do is that we're going to create a client which will subscribe to a uh, the service which we created in the previous tutorial. So that's what we're going to do and hopefully you will like it. So let's start. So this is what we created in the previous tutorial and this was a multiplier service which took two arguments and multiplied them together and then uh, returned the answer. So what we're going to do today is that we're going to create a client node which will call this service and then print out the result into the log. So to do this, the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to create the file. So we can right click on scripts here, we press new file. And then we need to give a name to this. So we will call it ser service client node.py. So that's the first wing, the thing that we are going to do. Uh, and then what we want to do is we want to go back to our service server node and we can just copy all of this because we're going to reuse some of the code. So we can, first of all, you can delete this function here, these two ones, and we can skip this call here also, which is called multiply. So what we're going to do now is just that we're going to define one function which we're going to call from our main function. And this function I will just call multiplier client or such, uh, some good name. And this will take two arguments, x and y, which is our two uh, numbers, which we're going to multiply. So we can type it like this. And then in our main function here, we, what we can do is just that we call this one. So we can just copy this and print it here. So we make a call and then we can take two numbers. I will take seven and two. So if we multiply this, we will get a result of 14. So hopefully if we make this, uh, uh, this file correct, we will get 14 back and print it to the log. But the first thing that we want to do is, as always, that we want to initialize our node. So to do this, we just type rospy.init underscore node. And then we will give a name to our node. So we'll just call this client node or something similar. And then what we're going to do is that we're going to actually make the first important call in this client, which is that we're going to say rospy dot wait for service and then we need to give the name of our service and I don't know if you remember but the name of our service is multiplier so we're going to wait for that one so we say multiplier here and what this function does here wait for service is that this node will wait for this service to exist in the ROS score so when multiplier exists in the ROS score we will uh, go on, so to say, but if it doesn't exist, we will wait here until it exists. Then what we want to do is that we want to say, uh, we want to create a rate. Uh, so we're just going to loop uh, many times and print out this uh, and call this multiplier client and call this service and uh, print the answer into the log. Uh, so we're just going to create a while loop. So we say rate uh, is equal Sorry, rate. So the rate is equal to rospy dot rate one. So one second. Then we say while. Sorry, why not rospy dot is shut down. So as long as we run ros, and then we say and we will say try. So what we want to do here is that we want to create an object for the service. So we're just going to say multiply to ints equals rospy dot, and here comes it, service proxy. And then we want to say the name of the service. So this is still multiplier. And then we need to, uh, as the second argument, we need to send in uh, what type of service message it will be. So here in SRV, we define multiplier.srv and we have imported it here. So we'll just send in multiplier here. 
to tell it that this is the message we will receive. As you see, I spelled it wrong, multiplier, like that. So now what we want to do is that we want to call this service. We have created this service object. What we want to do now is that we want to call it. So we say response is equal to, and then we say multiply to int. And then we will send in our two uh, numbers, which will in this function be x and y. So we can say x and y like this. And then what we want to do is just that we want to log this into the console. So we type rospy.log info. And then we want to log response.result. And then we want just to sleep uh, for a while. So we say rust sleep, uh, rate sleep, sorry. And then we just want to sleep for a while. So we just say rate.sleep. So, and the last thing that we need to do is that we need to catch the exception because if we don't uh, can create this object or call the service, we will get an exception. So we would write exception. Uh, or sorry, except rospy.service exception as e. And what we want to do is just to print this out. So let's say something like service call failed. And then we can print it out as just a string like that. And that's everything we need to do in our service client node. So uh, just to catch up, we wait for the service, uh, we loop it uh, and print it to the log the result. Here we multiply to ints, we <coughs> create an object of the service. And then here in the response, we say we call the service with uh, two arguments, x and y, which will be our number seven and two. And hopefully the response result here will be 14, which we will log into our um, uh, terminal. So we will save this one. And as you know, the last thing that we need to do is just to add this Python to our cmakelist.txt. So at row almost 110, for me at least, you have this catkin install Python, and then we can just copy this line here and we will print it and then we will change the name of it. So we will change service, not server, it will be client node. Why? So we hit save and then we can open up a terminal and what we want to do first of all is just that we want to in a window start a ROS core. So we type ROS core and then here what we want to do is just to go into our package. So Python catkin, have I called mine? And in here, what I want to do is just that I want to type catkin underscore make to build the project. So, and then what I want to do is just I want to source the devil setup.bash. And now what I want to do is that I want to first of all start the, the server service. So I want to set up the service. So to do this, I will just type ROS run the package name, which is tutorials in this case. And then if I tab two times, I will see all of the, uh, the, the added nodes I can run. So the one that I will call is service server node here. So I will type that service server node, hit enter, and now it's running. And what I want to do now is just that I want to open up a new terminal. So I just need to go into this once more uh, like this, and then I want to source the devil setup.bash in this new terminal. And now what I can do is that I'm going to start our new uh, client, and hopefully this will print out 14 into the terminal here. So we do that, and so we just say ROS run, and we say tutorials, and double tap just to check the name, service client node, of course, and then we hit enter. And as we can see, it logs an info message with 14 and, or saying 14 each second. 
So that's how you call the service that you have created in the previous tutorial in a, a node, from a node file. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful for you. Uh, thank you. And um, yeah, stay tuned for more, uh, for more tutorials.